Good afternoon, second grade. I hope you had a great Monday. I know it was the start of our online home learning, and I know that many of you did an amazing job today. I received some great feedback, and I just want you to know how proud of you I am. You are working so hard, and you are going to do the best job. Just know that I am here for you, and... I care about you so much. I made a mistake last time. It was actually chapter six that I read last Friday. So now we are officially starting on chapter seven of Stink and the World's Worst Super Stinky Sneakers. Chapter seven is called Professor Smells a Lot. Next Saturday morning, Stink woke up to the most wonderful smell. Not pancakes cooking, not bacon frying, the yucky blucky putrid stench of smelly sneakers. That's his goal, remember. Sweet! His sneakers were wonderfully smelly again. Back to where they were before his sister, the human marshmallow, went powder crazy and made them smell sweet as roses. Stink was going to win the all-time world's worst super stinky sneaker contest for sure. And today was the big day, his moment to shine, his moment to stink. What's that smell, Dad asked at breakfast? Don't tell me Mouse dragged another dead critter in here. It's him, said Judy, pointing to her brother. Stink, you reek. You reeka, said Stink, get it? Eureka! <laughs> I get that you smell, said Judy. Stink's entering a rotten sneaker contest today, Mom explained to Dad. Interesting, said Dad. My teacher's going to be there. Look at Mouse. I just have to show that. <laughs> Stink told them, she said if I come early, I'll be able to meet somebody interesting. It's probably just a guy dressed up like a giant sneaker or something, said Judy. Or something, said Stink. Mom, Dad, can I go too, Judy asked, just to watch, I mean. Let's all go, said Dad, but only if we put the smelly sn sneakers in the trunk. Right, Dad, said Judy. When Stink got to the contest, Webster and Sophie of the Elves came running up to him. There's no contest, said Webster. What, asked Stink. What do you mean? I know it's today. One of the judges caught a cold and he can't smell right, said Sophie. So they had to cancel the contest. No way. Yeah, huh, Miss D said. I'm not even in the contest, but I feel bad for you and Sophie, Webster told his friend. Stink could not believe his stinky, awful, no good, very bad luck. You mean I wore the same socks for six days and slept in my sneakers and tromped through mud puddles and swamp water for nothing? Just then, Stink saw his teacher, Mrs. D. Is it true there's really not going to be a sneaker contest today? Well, said Mrs. D, we might have a way to save the day. Really? Everybody asked. Stink, when we heard one of the judges was sick, I thought, who else do we know who might just have? Hmm. Who might just have amazing, incredible sense of smell. And right away I thought of you, Stink Moody. The nose. Stink could be a judge, said Webster. What do you say, Stink? asked Mrs. D. Me? A judge? For real? You mean I, Stink Moody, get to be the real and true professional smeller? Just call him Professor Smells a Lot, said Judy. Stink's Stinky Facts. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the stinkiest of them all? Skunk spray contains the same chemical as rotten eggs, garlic, and coffee. Stink bugs are the smelliest bugs around. One kind of stink bud can spit its smelly stuff up to 12 inches. Remember, that's one foot. Not bad for such a little guy. And that is the end of chapter seven. All right, stay tuned for chapter eight tomorrow. Have a great night. Goodbye.